been a while. Obviously, it's been the summer, so too hot in the attic to do anything. But we're now on the back to the trains. So, a few things. I've took away the big board, what used to go down here, to give me some more space. So, what I've decided is that I don't use this. So, I'm going to use the legs off it and fasten them onto the bottom of the train board so then I can uh, easily access everything underneath. While I've got that down, I'm going to take the old lights out, finally connect this wire to here. Another thing that was annoying, every time you changed device with the HM7000 HMDCC app, you had to reset these. And for some reason, God knows why, Ormby's put the reset on the bottom. Wouldn't it have made more sense on the side or on the top? So you can't permanently fix them because you have to reset them to put it to a new device. So anyway, that's where we're up to. Um, so I'll show you the progress as we get on. Okay, so that's all them lights out. And now we can get on with doing the legs. So these legs... Um, the screw on so I'm going to use the original nut fasten a wood and some wood on there drill through and then I can fasten that onto there and then the legs can be unscrewed simple okay so that's the finished product drill through there in there and then this can just screw on there and then it can be removable. So I'm going to do that for each corner now. So there we go, that's all four in. Okay. Let's do the legs on there. Okay, that's the legs on. I'm going to put a little bit of strengthening under here just to take any pressure, but probably overkill. Should do that now. Right, so they're just cut, so they're gonna go just in there, just to uh, strengthen it up a bit. So they're all in there, just takes any, I've just got in at that angle, just to take any flex out, just uh, in case. That's that. Okay, so there we go legs are on so all I need to work out now is getting the fiddle yard to fit on there and then that's that I've sorted cables out a bit more so I'll just put in to there now because I had a big long lead while we're in the road I'm going to tuck any of these wires that are hanging down up but now at least I can get to everything without having to move anything off the track. So, not bad design. Okay, so that's what I've come up with for this. Put a piece of wood there just to support it and then it's screwed to the track. And then this wood here, end stop on it. So it's not going anywhere. So there we go. So that's that little project. So my next job is to cut some material to fit around there and also sort out the wires so there's nothing dangling down. So that's an all a lot better. So I've put a hook on there to hook the wires to go down to the plugs and that goes across to there. And then all the wires tucked up out of the way. So I'm less likely to catch them with anything I put underneath the board. I've decided against the curtain because it'll only get covered in cat air at the bottom and stuff like that. Because uh, cats use this quite a lot. So I had some nice uh, black cardboard from a box. So I've just decided to trim it all up with that to finish it off. And I think that looks okay. Excuse the mess. Work in progress. But yeah, so that's uh, tidied all that edge up, I think. 
And we've also got the nameplate now. Just put one bracket in wall just to stop it from moving about. So it's all very solid now. This is a lot better. I also decided to use the same piece of card just to top that off there because really it could have done with chopping off but I'll see if I can cope with that. Okay, kind of frames it. So that'll do for this episode. Things I've still got to do. Um, so looking at it from this angle, because it's a different angle than what you could see round the back. Plus it's a lot lighter. So I can see a few imperfections, you know, like bits of white coming through, which I couldn't see before, to be fair. Um, so it will be a matter of going around, touching up, doing little jobs like that. Um, also, I need to put the new lights in now and that should be a lot easier. I can just lay down there and wire them in at my leisure. Um, we've still got to tattle the waterfall and the water. Um, so I need to make the waterfall come out of that hole down, make that into a lake. Still waiting for the pub to come out from Hornby. Um, decided that I'm not going to buy the 08 shunter. Um, I wouldn't be happy because it wouldn't have sound. So um, I'm just going to wait and see if they come up with some steam shunter or another company does uh, where you can put sound in. So um, I'll stick to what I've got for now. And then um, and we'll just wait because like I say, there's not really much point in me having the 08. I can't have sound in it easily anyway and not something that I'd be able to sort out. So. Um, we'll just stick with what we've got, but now I'll, I can uh, just start to titivate again now. It's getting a bit more into the winter months, so I can be up here, but I'm happy with what I've achieved today. All the wires are tidy now. I can get to them easily. I can get to them point motor boxes, um, accessory boxes, whatever you want to call them. Legs are on. Sideboards on, nameplates on, fiddle yards on. So now I'm uh, I'm happy with that. It looks good. So I'll catch you in the next update as soon as I uh, do any more work. Thanks for watching.